Hello everyone. It's good to see you again. Hopefully you've had a good week and the week ahead will be even better. So last week, if you recall, it was the week before Yom Yerushalayim and we went on a symbolic walking tour of the uh, wall around the old city of Jerusalem, uh, East Jerusalem, if you will, and we stopped symbolically at each of the gates or entry and exit points. I want to continue that tour this week, the week after Yom Yerushalayim, so we can complete our tour. This time we'll be in West Jerusalem. Actually, we could be in any city, town, or village in Israel, because one of the things that uh, I find particularly enjoyable is to walk the streets and look at the street signs. There's so much to learn from street signs in Israel. Think of some of the great cities we've uh, occupied. Think of New York City, for example. It's kind of interesting that the city planners came up with 1st Avenue, 2nd Avenue, 3rd Avenue, 34th Street, 42nd Street, 96th Street. Uh, not too much creativity there. But the city planners of all the cities of Israel have turned street signs into a reflection of all of our history and our culture. There's so much to learn just by reading street signs. You read the story of who are the founding fathers and mothers, who are the heroes and heroines, what are the great moments in Jewish history. So let's start with, let's start with the fact that uh, we'll take one little neighborhood of Jerusalem, Rechavia, and most of the streets there are some of the great individual scholars from the medieval period, hundreds of years ago, a thousand years ago. People like Rambam Maimonides, or Ramban Nachmanides, or Ibn Ezra, their names are on the street signs in that, in that section, in that neighborhood. However, if you go to another section, you'll find all rabbis who are from a thousand years before them, the Talmudic rabbis. And these rabbis, unbelievably, they could argue and debate about every single issue you could imagine when it comes to uh, the Talmud and halachic uh, precedents and discussions and debates. And here they are in perpetuity next to each other uh, by being connecting streets in the same neighborhood. I imagine that they're still continuing their arguing, and isn't that wonderful and exciting? And if you go back a little further in history, you'll find street names that are mentioned after uh, people in the Bible. King David Street is the street on which the King David Hotel is located. How clever. Now, if we move in the other direction, getting back towards uh, more modern contemporary times, there are sections and neighborhoods totally devoted through their street signs to the great figures of Jewish literary writing. Agnon, Chernichovsky, Chaim Hazaz, Bialik, they're all in the same neighborhood in terms of the street signs. And then, of course, if you've ever been a prime minister of Israel, chances are you're named after a few streets, or the streets are named after you in various cities throughout Israel. Uh, someday there will be a BB street. Who knows where that will be, but I'm sure there will be. In any event, we want to wish him a mazel tov on finally getting sworn in as the new prime minister, uh, continuing in his position for at least the next 18 months. In any event, other sections are equally interesting in that they could be military figures, political leaders. There are also streets, and this will complete our tour, that uh, are of moments, specific moments in Jewish history. And there's one in particular that I want to conclude with and just mentioned as a way of bringing this tour to an end, and then we'll get into Havdalah. And that is a tiny little street that's maybe two or three blocks long. It's called Kaftet bin November. November 29th Street. And it's interesting that uh, that's the date, in case you didn't remember, that the United Nations voted to accept the partition plan, which a few months later led to the actual birth of the State of Israel. Now I picture in my imagination a little child walking down that street, holding hands with his Abba or Ima, and they get to the corner and they see the street sign, and the little child asks his parent, Eba, Ima, Abba, what's the 29th of November? Why is there a street named for this? And they have to give the answer, of course, as best they can, which would probably be something like it's an important date in Jewish history. It has a lot to do with how this, all of this, became our home. What a wonderful moment that we can imagine that the street signs in Israel reflect and represent and inspire uh, those kinds of conversations to take place. 
What it really means is that every street sign is part of our education, part of our culture, part of our history, and part of our future because we've perpetualized these uh, events and people in these street signs. And what that means, of course, is that they encourage questioning, and a question encourages an answer, and an answer encourages more questioning. So hopefully what it teaches all of us is that every question mark we can turn into an exclamation point simply by engaging in these kinds of conversations. I hope that the week ahead will be one filled with exclamation points for you, your loved ones, and your neighbors as we get closer, 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 a little bit closer to ending the crisis. We still have a long way to go, but we're all hoping for a, a wonderful week ahead that will be filled with moments that give us exclamation points and make us strong and make us be able to face yet another week in this partial isolation. With that, let's uh, continue with the Gala. We'll start, of course, by welcoming Eliyahu Hanavi into our homes. Eliyahu Hanavi, Eliyahu Hatishbi, Eliyahu, Eliyahu, Eliyahu Agiladi, Bimera the Yamenu, Yavo Elenu, Imashiach Ben David. Imashiach ben David. Hine el Yeshua te aftach velo echad. Hi aziv zimrat yad and I vahili lishua. Hu shavtem ayim bisaso mi maynea Yeshua. Ladernai ha Yeshua al amcha bircha tachasela. Ladernai tsvaot imanu miskavlonu elohei Yaakov sela. Adonai Tzvaot, Ashrei, Adam Boteach Bach, Adonai Hoshia, HaMelech Ya'aneinu V'yom Kareinu, L'Yehudim Haita Ora V'Simcha V'Sasson V'Kar, K'ein Z'yalanu, Kos Yeshuot Esa, U'V'Shem Adonai Ekra, Sabri, Baruch Ato Adonai, Eloheinu Malach HaOlam, Borei Pri HaGafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu malach haolam, borei minei besamim. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu malach haolam, borei maorei ha'esh. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu malach haolam, hamadil ben kodesh lechol, ben or lechoshech, ben Yisrael la'amim, ben yom ha'shvi'i l'sheshet yemei ha'maaseh, Baruch Ata Adonai, Hamadil Ben Kodesh Lecho. Amen. Shavuot Tov, 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 Shavuot Tov. And we'll end with counting the Omer. Today was day 44, so we'll continue the count from there. Inami muchan im zuman l'kayim mitzvah aseh, shal spirat ha'omer, k'mo shekatu batarah, uzpartam lachem mimachara ha'shabbat, miyom ha'viyachem et omer ha'tenufa, sheva shabbato t'mimo t'hiena, ad mimachara ha'shabbat ha'shvihi, t'spiru ha'mishim yom. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech olam, asher kitshanu v'mitzvotah v'tzivanu al svirat ha'omer. Ayom chamisha v'arbaim yom, sheheim shisha shavuot u'shlosha yamim la'omer. Tonight begins the 45th day, making it six weeks and three days into the Omer. Again, Shavuot Tov, have a great week. Shavuot Tov.